Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are installing a Cooler Master Master Liquid ML120L RGB. Okay, so I want to start off with saying that I've already pulled out the graphics card and I'm doing this in another video but I'm changing the graphics card and the CPU at the same time but let's just focus on the Cooler Master ML120L for this video. So first of all I gotta pull out the rear case fan more on this a little bit later and then we have to pull off the factory heat sink and fan and then I'm gonna mount these little brackets to the motherboard so that the water cooling has something to mount to on the motherboard and while you're doing this remember when you're tightening the screws they don't need to be too tight just tight enough and because we've just taken off the CPU heatsink and fan we need to clean off all the old thermal compound for this I'm using isopropyl alcohol now the first step is to attach the cooler master fan to the front of the radiator and there is also an optional way that you can do this and you can add another fan to the back and so that case fan I pulled off before, I'm actually going to put that on the back. So we've got two fans pulling air through. I actually don't know how this is going to work because this case fan isn't going to go as fast as the front one, but let's just see how it goes. Now depending on the CPU you have, there's a lot of different ways to mount this. For me, I have an AM4 socket, so this is the way I need to mount mine comes with a lot of different brackets for other sockets but I need these ones. After you get your mounts on you will want to put some thermal compound on your CPU and then mount the ML120L to the CPU. After I mount the cooler on the CPU I then attach the pump fan to the pump header on my motherboard because I'm lucky enough to have one and then time to mount it all to the case. And then attach the Cooler Master fan to the CPU fan header on the motherboard. And don't forget this is an RGB model. so. I connect the RGB fans to the RGB header on my motherboard again because I'm lucky enough to have one. If you're not lucky enough to have one then it does come with an RGB controller that you can hook up as well. Now it's just a matter of getting the graphics card in and then we'll start this baby up and see how she purrs. I'm not going to put the glass panel or anything on yet because we just have to test it out. See if there's any errors, if it's cooling properly, if there's any leaks because we're doing water cooling. See if the RGB works, all that stuff. So let's trial it out. Alright, are you ready for this? How many beeps is there going to be and how many bombs is there going to be? <laughs> Alright. Things just turned off. Is there any water leaking? <laughs> There's no beeps so far. New CPU installed. F1. I'm just going to leave it on this screen for a second, just in the BIOS, just to monitor all the temperatures. Looks like there's no water leaking still, which is good. So I think we're okay on the water front. 
CPU seems to be sitting at just 31 degrees Celsius. Motherboard at 23 degrees Celsius. So I think all my fans are working. Look and feel of it. All the fans are pushing air in the right direction, which is great because I wasn't 100% sure. Because uh, this fan, normally they have a little arrow on it saying which direction the air is going. Uh, but these ones don't. So, so far, so good. What are we at now? Still 34 degrees Celsius on the CPU, 25 degrees Celsius on the motherboard. I think we're good. After putting the case back together, I found the CPU was still idling under 40 degrees Celsius, which was really good. And during gaming, it barely ever gets above 50 degrees Celsius on the CPU, which again is really, really good. Even pretty high intensive games, still only really looking at 52 degrees or so, and I haven't really seen it exceed about 55 degrees Celsius. So really, really happy with the result. I like the RGB and I could just easily recommend this. It seems quite good quality. The only downfall is this is my second unit. The first one was leaking a little bit of water, but that was shown in the packaging when I first got it. Other than that, this second unit that I had has been really good. So just make sure if you buy one of these, when you pull it out of the packet, if you see any green liquid at all, send it back and then get a new one. Anyway, thank you for watching this video everybody. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos and stay cool my friends. Stay cool.